Team news ahead of the game at Sunderland. Anyone in or out from uh, the previous weekend? Out uh, from previous weekend, no. Uh, so everybody uh, who was available last week is available again this week. We have still, of course, the Diaby uh, uh, will show are not available, but uh, it looks good because Gibbs is back in full training as well now, so overall the situation looks much more positive in the period where. We go into a period that will decide our season, and therefore it's good to have uh, the players back. Do you really think it's that important to decide? I think it's that important because in uh, one week we play uh, three games in three different competitions, and uh, in every single single uh, competition we are, of course, in the position where we want to win our game. And Sunderland flying high at the moment, the informed team in the Premier League. How tough a opponent will they be? Well, uh, they are doing well and we, are, we have uh, done well recently. We have rebuilt our confidence, so it's important that uh, we go in a positive mind there and uh, that uh, we come back with three points. And just finally from me, is there any clarification on when Thierry is going back to New York? There is a clarification. Uh, it will be the next uh, 16th of February. So is that after Milan? Just after Milan, the day after Milan. So no return to the North London derby for Thierry then? No return to the North London derby. Arsene, there's a vacancy for the England manager apparently. Are you interested? No. Would you ever be interested in a job like that? I came out uh, on what I uh, said many times. You know, it's better with uh, England is a big football country, uh, 65 million people. And uh, big passion for the game. I love I love England, and I uh, want England to do well. And uh, therefore, I let VFA to deal with that problem. Who would be a good choice in your opinion? I don't want to interfere in that at all. Just on Capello's resignation, if I could relate it to yourself in, in one way, if, for example, you were told Robin van Persie would no longer be your captain, how would you have reacted to that? Well, I don't know uh, the whole situation, you know. I, I, I uh, will speak to Capello at some stage. I don't have uh, his opinion at all. I spoke with him on uh, Saturday before the Blackburn game. He didn't look to me at all, uh, talking to me like somebody who, he, who was to resign. That's why it was a big surprise to me. And uh, I don't know what really happened behind the... Uh, the scenes, that's why it's difficult for me to come out on that. No, you don't want to say In principle, team. the manager chooses the captain. What happened behind that, I don't know. And I, in fairness, uh, at the moment, I have other worries than that. I know you don't want to say who your choice would be, but no. just generally, do you, think, do you think the job can be done on a part-time basis if someone is managing the Premier League club at the same time? On a short term, yes. On a long term, no. Um, you've mentioned about Thierry Henry. Could you just clear up reports that have, you're quoted in the Belgian press talking about how much profit Arsenal have to make a season? Mm -hmm. 20 million. It, 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 are they, have these quotes come from you? Is, is that correct? Yes. And I'm surprised that you're surprised. <laughs> does, does that mean that you've been... Do you, do you think the target of a club is to lose money? <laughs> it cannot last a long time, so the target is to make profit. It looks to me normal for any company in the world, so I don't know why it can create a surprise. Has that tied your hands? I mean by that, but uh, no, I mean by that that we have to, we want to pay the debt back from the stadium we build, and that's around 15 million. So it's normal that at the start we have to at least make 15 million, or we lose money. With that in mind, has that tied your hands in any way with transfers? No.
You've been completely satisfied. Look, I, I, uh, I accept one basic principle for every company is that uh, you can <coughs> spend the money you make. And uh, it looks always to me a, a massive surprise that I have to convince you of that. I think it's just natural common sense and logic, a mathematical logic, that what goes out has to equal what comes in. If that doesn't work, uh, your company will lose its money. Just on um, Andre Al Shabi, has, has there been any approach for him and do you expect him to be here after February the 24th when the Russian... I expect him to be here after February 24th and that is clear. See? Arsene, um, over the years that you've been here um, yes. as manager of Arsenal, you've been associated with the England manager's job many, many, many times. Yes. Has there ever been an occasion where you thought, hmm, fancy that? No. No, no because I was always under contract. I always respected my contracts in my life. Uh, and uh, I've never been really tempted by the national team job because for me it's a completely different job. I'm uh, a little bit in a marathon job inside the club and the uh, and, uh, national team job is a sprinter's job. <coughs> Maybe I have not enough quick fibers, but uh, <laughs> I'm more interested in, in, uh, in a day-to-day basis job and uh, less, it's completely uh, different, it's more PR, more communication, uh, less impact on the, on the footballing side, less impact on, uh, on uh, building a team, because if you have a good generation in the country you can do well, if you have no good generation you can do nothing, so in the club you have always ways to, to build a team. So in view of that, would you rule yourself out of any national team manager's job? I've from, always, be uh, or believe France? me, I've ruled myself out of many national team jobs. <laughs>